It is time to do some mashups, fellas. I'm looking forward to some mashups. Uh, by the way, Matt Barr saying he does that hockey in a baseball tee. Fantastic oh, blend oh. of styles right there, Matt Barr. Uh, I mean, you talk about a mashup. Uh, Matt Barr's got it nailed. <laughs> Wait, but before, that's what I'm saying. You can do that hockey no matter what you're wearing. You absolutely can. Once a year. Hang I'm on. Gonna get, I'm going to do that hockey in some Spanx. Before, before we do that, man, we got kids clothes up there, too. Like, you can get a onesie. You can do that that's hockey true. in a onesie. Exactly. Uh, Start them off on the right path. Before we do these mashups, a couple things that I want to get to here in the comments. Uh, Chris America saying that uh, he came in a little late. Did I already miss the breakdown of Captain America's flagpole? What the shit happened this week, Scott? Did you hear about uh, that story? What? No, I missed that one. Chris Evans tweeted something out, uh, and as part of the video, he forgot to trim the end of the video, uh, and it ended up showing a screenshot that had naked pictures of himself. I I didn't click what? any links, but apparently the jokes were, the hey, you didn't. I really didn't. I swear to God, I only saw the aftermath where he tweeted out afterwards, like, uh, Hey, I've been off social media for a few days. What'd I miss? Which I thought was pretty clever. Uh, well, <laughs> it was well played by Cap. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Chris Evans hanging dong. <laughs> I mean, it's Captain America. Like he's he's defended our freedom. I think he he's free to take whatever nude photos he wants, right? Uh, it, right. You know, do your thing, Cap. And then Scott, as as Matt Barr says, that's America's dick. <laughs> You don't understand that reference yet, Berlon. You haven't reached that part in the MCU. I'm not there. But when you do, I did. Know what I did see Civil War. Uh, that was pretty solid. That was actually very solid. I am Civil through War. So now you've seen Spidey. Yes, I was very Holland. excited. I thought I missed something. I, I the way it came in, I thought I had missed uh, a Spider-Man movie before that. But I was pretty pumped to see Spidey come in. Uh, I also saw Doctor Strange. I watched that one last night. Um, that movie tripped me out. That's a that's a weird fucking movie, man. Uh, Doctor Strange is a little bizarre. It's also bizarre that Rachel McAdams is in there, kind of just out of nowhere. Yeah, very briefly. Like, okay, and by the way, Rachel McAdams okay with it. way above Cat Dennings, right? Uh, we can all agree Ooh. on that one. Mm, that's fair. I'm not going to yeah. argue on that. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool, you, cool, cool. You win this round. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay, let's uh... blind squirrel nut situation there <laughs> for show. <laughs> And Chris America, if you didn't see Captain's Avenger, you're not American. Uh, there you go. All right, let's uh, let's get into this mashup. So here's what we're doing for this segment. We're going to take some celebrities uh, and mash them up to get some type of sports figure. So, for example, if you take bearded John Krasinski, which, by the way, super hard for me to think John Krasinski. I wanted to call him Jim uh, every time I, I put something in the doc about him. But if you take bearded John Krasinski and you mash him up with John Stamos, who do you get with that? You get Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay, you guys get where we're coming from with this mashup segment. Like, that's a pretty... That's pretty on point for uh, for Jimmy G. Okay, so let's get into our first one. Wait, real, real quick, I do want to point out, you just said John Krasinski flawlessly, like, five times. <laughs> can't, can't figure out how the fuck to say Sagan. <laughs> Who? It's cool though. Seaman. 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 <laughs> Seaman. Yeah. It's the magic sauce. Was, St. Louis. What am I saying Louis. wrong? Seaman. St. Louis. Right. Okay. Anyways, let's go. Let's get into our mashups. Uh, so the Seaman. first one we've got. Uh, first one we got Carson Wentz. When you mash Carson Wentz up with Hank Scorpio from The Simpsons, uh, who do you get when you mash those two up? Any guesses, fellas? Any guesses? Who the hell is Hank Scorpio? You don't remember Hank Get Scorpio? Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you We're serious? Done. Mute Juru. Mute Juru. Oh He's done. God, I can't. I, I, he oh, controls the Zoom. Okay. All right. I, all right. All right. When you, I got you now. When you mix up, when you mash up uh, Carson Wentz and Hank Scorpio, the correct answer is Sean McVay. Sean McVay is who you get. Uh, do you guys, did you hear about McVay this week and why he's in the news uh, besides uh, winning their first game of the year? It came out that he has no soul and is really a ginger deep underneath it. Wow, all. wow. Dropping the G word it with out, a hard R. It turns out we were right and his wife was cheating on him the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most likely. But they, uh, so the NFL released a, a statement or sent out a memo that said all coaches have to wear their mask throughout the entire game. Like, no oh, exceptions. You have to wear your mask. And uh, the uh, McVeigh was like, yeah, that's because of me. Because the dude, the dude basically spent the entire game with his mask 
below his mouth and chin. Like he would only pull it up uh, over his mouth occasionally, still nose hanging out. Like complete dummy. I think all coaches should just go to Andy Reid's face shield. That's well, what you I can't should do. believe yeah, they should, but I can't believe that uh, that wasn't put out preseason. Considering all throughout fucking hard knocks, that's all we we talked yeah. about was the fact that none of these coaches were like he constantly had his mask. Oh, dude, he's the worst. Mouth. He's it's like, the... what are you wearing it for? Just take it off if you're gonna have it on your chin. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. But like, if you if you do the Andy Reid face shield, you don't have to wear a mask, right? Like, that's that's the trade. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. But it Probably gets all what fogged it is, up. Though, is they just don't want to be seen as that fat, sweaty guy like Andy. <laughs> guys, guys, look, look. The the question has long been asked that why do Major League Baseball uh, managers wear full uniform? And the time has come that NFL coaches have to wear the entire uniform, including a helmet and a mask, and oh. a face shield, and have that whole thing uh, down on it. I don't think we're come. ready for that, Scott. COVID has, COVID has brought it about. Because you know what's going to happen is if they have to do that, when Bill Belichick wears that uniform, Zeke is going to feel real shitty about his tattoo, realizing that Bill had it first. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of Bill Belichick, <laughs> friggin', uh, I saw Bill Belichick in a Subway commercial. Brady Lee. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> like, he is <laughs> broke AF now, apparently. What no, the- I'm thinking Brady leaves town and the personality comes out. All of a sudden, Bill uh, is a different man. I I think I like Bill Belichick all of a sudden. He, what do you think? What is Bill Belichick's go-to $5 foot long? Mm, mm. Good question. I feel like he goes BMT, not even BLT. He goes BMT, BMT. and I that's what he... cold cut combo. But... Mm. Yeah, I was going to say he's basic as fuck, so cold cut combo is probably yeah. his go-to. <laughs> or, or every once in a while, he wants to, you know, uh, spice it up a little bit. He gets that tuna salad. <laughs> JB, I do not want to see Andy Reid or Patricia in football pants. We've already seen Andy Reid in football pants when he's the giant 12-year-old in the punt pass kick competition that they always show uh, with Andy Reid where it's just like a little kid that's like four oh, foot man. nothing and six foot tall Andy Reid shoved into the smallest pants possible. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with JB on that did one. You put the, uh, did you put the Joe Cage? Uh, meme in the mashup? Oh, damn, no, I didn't. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. It's okay, though. <laughs> we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back around. And Biscuit, bring it up what I said this weekend. Uh, if they wear the mask, they don't have to hold up that stupid play sheet in front of their face when they talk, but they still do. They will, I, yeah. No, they're yeah, doing Jenna- it. Like, they're actually doing that. I tweeted that out this weekend. Like, uh, I can't believe the number of college coaches and NFL coaches that were still holding their play sheet in front of their face as they're calling. But you see like MLB coaches do that too. They come out to talk to the pitchers and they got their hand over their face. It's like, bro, you're wearing a mask. What are you doing? No, it's, it's simple. Like Jenna pointed that out to me this weekend and I was like, Oh yeah, but you you know that if they don't hold, you know, the play sheet up there, they don't know how to call the play. (laughs) Like that's what it comes yeah, down it's, to. It's like, a comfort thing. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. So they're not it. reading it, but if they don't hold it up there, they'll literally go uh, uh. shoot the J, shoot it, <laughs> louses. All right, let's let's do our next mashup. Next mashup here, uh, you got Gollum from Lord of the Rings, or is it Smeagol? I don't know which one is which. Do you guys know which? Depends one? on where in the storyline we're talking about, but you know, I think you want to go with Gollum. You want to go post. Uh, yeah, that's that's post freak out. All right, okay, so Free, you know, freeing from the ring, if you will. So Gollum and then Hanson from Scary Movie Two, which is Chris Elliott's character with the the take my strong hand. Uh, that <laughs> that guy. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys could tell what you get when you mix up Gollum and Hanson. Uh, you get Jerry Jones during the national anthem. Uh, that's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This 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 blew up the internet and I love it. Oh, dude, Not it sure. was one of the funniest things I had ever seen. I felt like he was literally trying to figure out, like he was like, I don't know how to do this without somebody holding my hand no, over you know my what, heart man, for guys, me. Guys, this is bad. We shouldn't be talking about this. We can't make fun of this guy because he was literally having a stroke on national TV and no one helped him. That's a good point. That's to be to to be fair. If Jerry Jones ever legit does have a stroke on live TV, I I hope that nobody helps him. <laughs> Do you think we can put money on that? I mean, like look at no seriously. My, I, I'm teaching my toddler the the pledge of allegiance, and he knows how to hold his hand over his heart better than like what the hell, Jerry? <laughs> do you know how to? Do you know all the words to the pledge of allegiance? I do. Yeah, That's impressive. You don't? 
Uh, you don't remember that? that? No, I do because you know it's one of those things where you get started, you say the first line, and the rest just yeah, kind of goes that, on exactly. autopilot. It just yeah. rolls out of your mouth. Like you, it's just like haven't said it in what? That's what I was gonna say. When was the last yeah. time you said that? I'm like sitting here. I'm like it was probably fourth grade. Yeah, it's been forever. But then mm. you say I pledge of allegiance, and then boom, it's all there. Do you guys? Should we say the Pledge of Allegiance before the show? I mean, they play the national anthem before a football game. Maybe so we. I'm should. gonna nail. <laughs> That's fine, because all we'll see is your forehead in frame. <laughs> <laughs> is it cool uh, are you if guys... I stand in the hallway with my hand over my heart? Then, like, what, how, like, what are what's etiquette here? <laughs> Loudbeard saying that Jerry's got <laughs> carpal tunnel. Don't be hating. <laughs> Carpal tunnel. <laughs> what uh, do you think Jerry's got carpal tunnel from? Because I, I have an idea. Uh, hey, what's your idea? Yanking them penny slots at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> just yanking it. Yep, just yanking it. Because <laughs> you know that rich ass motherfucker being the casino still playing penny slots too, right? Like, oh, for sure. He's taking his social security check there, putting it into pennies, and then just sliding those things in. Can you, you can't imagine afford all that Johnny Walker blue label if you're not yeah, using right? penny slots? Can you imagine yeah. going in a casino and you just see Jerry Jones sitting at a penny slot and he's got like that card that's attached to his shirt that's plugged yep. into the machine just in case he passes out dead? A fucking they, life the alert card too. pulls out too so that nobody comes in and steals your, your rewards points for the casino? I can 100% see that. <laughs> But of course, he would just be standing there with like a little hand pulling the the I, lever. Just... <laughs> Suck that fucking. Uh, are you guys surprised that uh, he didn't do anything to Poe uh, for kneeling during the national anthem? No, because he was a lying some bitch. I thought for sure he was going to do something. Like the when I saw him staring and he had that weird he had the weird hand going on. I I was like, oh, he is. No, this he's going to try something. Will... He's gonna he's gonna literally sell his soul that he has left. He he may have already sold all of it. He wants to get a ring. He'll do whatever the hell it takes to get a ring. Exactly. His ass will hire Kaepernick back if it means that they're gonna. Mm. If someone said to you, "Oh, he would do it," mm. if he was guaranteed to win the Super Bowl by getting Kaepernick on that team, he'd do it in instant. Okay, leave a comment guaranteed. below and let us know. Would Jerry Jones sign Colin Kaepernick if it meant he was guaranteed to get a Super Bowl? Uh, cause I, 100%. I, I don't think he would. Yeah. I don't think he would. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? If, if seriously, if you said guaranteed, he would do it tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. He would tell him not to show up. He would just sign him to a contract and be like, yeah, you, you don't be here. What if it was, roster. what if it was, uh, he had to sign Colin Kaepernick and start Kaepernick, uh, or still uh, he would do whatever he needs. Okay. To do okay. Let's do Super this. Bowl. He had to sign Dude. Colin Kaepernick. And make Colin Kaepernick his starter for five years, but he was only guaranteed one Super Bowl in that time. Would he do it? Wait, what was the second part? And make what? Uh, yeah, you you cut out there. Mike. All right, he's, I was talking about <laughs> it was just me over. He's here, allowed but. to. He can sign Colin Kaepernick, uh, and Kaepernick has to start for the team for five years, but he's guaranteed one Super Bowl win. Does he do it? Yeah, he don't give a fuck. He'll die after one year, so it's like whatever. <laughs> Let his son deal with it then. <laughs> Speaking, uh, speaking of Dallas and and all these endorsements, I also saw that uh, Dakota got that big uh, mattress money coming from uh, was it Purple Mattress or Sleep Number or whatever it was. I, I was thinking that Jarrah saw that and was like, "See, I ain't giving you that big money. You got that mattress money coming <laughs> you in. Got that, fine. You got that mattress money. Uh, all right, next one uh, in the in the mashups here. Here we go. Uh, Actually, there you go. So Loudbeard is agreeing with me. He's saying, no, there's no way Jerry signs him. There's no way Jerry signs him, even for a Super Bowl. Uh, Scott saying, yes, he would sign him. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see him doing it. All right, here's your next mashup. Uh, Wilford Brimley from The Natural. Uh, we're going to mash him up with President of the United uh, States, Donald Trump. And what do you get when you mash those two up? Mike Ditka, orange-faced old Mike Ditka, back in the news again for uh, telling people who want to kneel during the national anthem to get the hell out of the country. Ditka back to doing Ditka things. Uh, what do you guys think of Ditka this week? Isn't it about time that prostate cancer got him? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I feel like that's at least two Mike out of frames this show. Oh, shit. 
Uh, and a snort. You got a snort on that one too, oh. man. Whew. That was, uh, man, I, once upon a time, I loved Mike Goodcock. Oh my God. I completely agree. I, I had was no, I, I had no idea that this is who Mike Ditko was for all those years. Like it changes everything about him. This dude sucks on ice, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so, and it's so disturbing. And I feel like these sources go like TMZ will always just be like, all right, there's some controversy going on with black people. Uh, let's see what Ditka has to say, because this is going to get us some clicks. And they just put a microphone in front of his old ass face. And he's like, wait, get the hell out of the country. And they're like, yep, there we go. Here it is. And uh, he's years. definitely the go to if they're like, hmm, we need a real controversial soundbite. Mm, just call Ditka. It's like, hey, Ditka, black Ah, fuck him. What? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even. You heard me. Fuck him. I was trying to ask you about the Black Sox shot at the World Series this year. <laughs> right. I need to learn not to kneel for the anthem. Those it's, fuckers. I was going to say, it's like, I was going to ask you black or red if I'm playing roulette, but all right. All right. <laughs> thanks. Him. Thanks, Mike. Mike Put it just, on double zero then? Is I was just that? asking if you took your coffee black. Nope, I sure <laughs> don't. <laughs> Put all this cream. damn country. I just drink milk. All right, next mashup. Here we go. Uh, Rob Riggle. Everybody's uh, everybody loves him. Oh, uh, yeah. Loves them some Rob Riggle. I love Rob Riggle on Holy Moly. He's my favorite part on Holy Moly. But Shit, you, I keep forgetting to watch that. Dude, man. you are missing I, out. It is so know, good. That right? was part of the Sports Equinox last week. It was the like only MLB. To turn in, tuned into Fox ever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but if you ma if you mash up Rob Riggle and an old catcher's mitt, do you know what you get when you mash those two up? Ed oh, Orgeron. That's what you get I is know. Ed Orgeron. Good old Ed Orgeron. Man, you're doing a little hand down there in LSU. Oh, dang, I'll play some football. <laughs> Did you know that Ed Orgeron actually got his start in Waterboy? <laughs> <laughs> that was after his brief stint uh, as Boomhauer, as the voice of Boomhauer, uh, oh, right? God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love Ed, me some Boomhauser. Ed Orgeron in the news this week because he said that uh, most of his players have already had COVID and he doesn't think they're going to get it again. So it, they should be good for this season. Like, you that, know what? <laughs> that mashup is really good. Those photos. <laughs> I just feel like, man, you didn't, you did not do right by Rob Riggle on that one, though. That poor guy. I love Rob Riggle. He really he is great, man. <laughs> you shit on him hardcore, putting him with the catcher's mitt. <laughs> but that's it. I mean, look at that. That's totally what it is. Rob Riggle <laughs> plus catcher's mitt equals I mean, Ed Orgeron. I mean, it is nailed, but damn, poor Rob. <laughs> I mean, for the joke, Rob would probably agree, but damn. Yeah, right. Oh, goodness. We got that's a great, that's the perfect catcher's oh. mitt, too. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, the it's, catcher's mitt. Do you realize too. how many catcher's mitt pictures I had to look for to find that one to be like, that's the one. That's the oh. catcher's mitt that well, makes we, it Ed Orgeron. We talked about it before on the show how hard you work during the work days. So. <laughs> that's like the original <laughs> catcher's mitt that was used in the very first baseball game ever. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I, that might have been the hardest you've laughed on the show, Scott. I don't think oh, you've laughed. That, I mean, I just wow. You've uh, you've <laughs> fallen out of screen before, but th that one that one got you. I'm, I maybe I should have saved really that for the did. end. I should have rearranged these a little bit. I guess I got oh. one more, but I guess I should have done that one uh, at last. Anyway, so what do you think about Eddie coming out and saying, "Ah, eh, well, the players have already had it. We we should be fine." He's half right. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, they've probably all had it. Yeah, they like, probably won't be fine just based on saying, right. that, you know, they. I mean, that's assuming that, you know, they can't get it again and it can't adversely affect them moving forward. I mean, you know, I almost guarantee you 60 percent of that team's gotten it. Yeah, well, that was the funny thing. Somebody, the, I guess they pressed them to be like, how many, like, what percentage do you think had it? And he was like, I don't know, but eh, most of them probably did. It's like, Jesus, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, and then also there's like this lingering thing of long-term effects that he's just not worried about because all right. he cares about is that at yeah, least yeah, we're getting the season in. to him in four years. Like they need to win him a title today. <laughs> no, no, no. R rephrase that because he's like, eh, most of these guys I'm getting three years out of them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, good old Eddie O. Uh, as long as they die off campus, Eddie O don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, just right, don't do it. Like, at don't COVID do it. COVID isn't going to kill them for until they're out of here, right? Nah, they don't care. About it. <laughs> I 
I mean, that's why you got two recruiting seasons now, right? That's a good point. That's a very valid. If your early too. signees fall ill, then you can fill them back up in January. And the SEC cheats anyway, so who cares? All right, last mashup. Uh, former presidential candidate, uh, Senator First Lady Hillary Clinton. Uh, when you mash her up with Deborah, who is Farah's mom from Teen Mom, you guys remember Deborah uh, and all the work that she's had done? Mash those two up, and who do you get? Carol Baskin. Uh, there you go, Carol Baskin. Uh, it, <laughs> she made some news this week uh, appearing on Dancing with the Stars. Did you guys watch that at all? Have you have you seen no, that? No. I, I heard when they made the cast announcement a few weeks ago that she was going to be on the show, and I'm like, man, ABC is just trying to get them clicks. I really hope that Carol Baskin dies from a poisoned, all-natural, holistic tampon. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. She is what's wrong with this world these days. <laughs> I just think it's weird that you'd have a, a an obvious murderer on your show. Like, <laughs> right? She submitted to it. Investigation's still pending, and they're like, yeah, come on and dance with the stars. Did you but see- they won't give OJ a shot? I mean, god damn it. He's done his time. A- and he's been cleared. He, he right? got cleared. Plus, can you imagine how that dude be able to dance with them feet? Ooh, he'd be shaking and moving. <laughs> hey, uh, Twitter world. Oh, I was going to say, OJ comes on, he's like, Hey, Dancing with the Stars, it's OJ here. And then he just dances. to. Uh, uh. And then at the end of his set, all right, y'all, take care. <laughs> what would be OJ's go-to dance? Go-to dance or go-to song? Oh, uh, well, I guess they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, I, I would go know. with the Crip Walk would be the go-to, uh, <laughs> go-to move for OJ. <laughs> I would just like to see OJ out here sea walking, right, right there on Dancing with the Stars. I think I would lose my mind. And all he did was sea walk. Just three minutes and twenty seven seconds of OJ sea walking. That would be amazing. Uh, I expected so much more from you, man. The obvious right answer is Motown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. Like, obviously, that would be the right answer. But, but, I, but, this, but the which, joke which answer would you is way pay funnier. to see. Which would you yeah. pay to see? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm true, not coming true. to watch OJ dance. You know, I mean, he would be a fine Motown dancer, but him sea walking, that's oh, CT. I'm here for that. Ooh, John, I by the honest, way, man, I'd be a little worried because what if he breaks a hip doing it? Even more, even more reason to do it. I was going to say, that's, even more reason to tune in. That's, oh, there you go. <laughs> Ed's saying he should dance to Killer. I mean, Thriller. That's what OJ should dance to. <laughs> uh, and John pointing out what I was going to say, uh, Carol Baskin's husband, the one that she killed, uh, allegedly the his family ran a commercial during Dancing with the Stars to like ask people for tips on his death and and help fi- bring his killer to justice. So basically, ABC cashed in on all the people who wanted to see Carol Baskin, which they put her at the end, very smart on ABC's part, because then everybody had to sit through the whole episode to see Carol hey, Baskin all dance. you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> <laughs> guess what song she danced to? Do you know what song she danced to? I don't want to know. Guess. Just guess. You got you to gotta have a guess. Cat here. Scratch Fever. Good guess. Uh, Wrong, I was gonna but say, good guess. I was going to go with the old Cat Daddy. Uh, no, Ooh, right. that's another good one. a little further away, Eye of the Tiger. She danced to Eye of the Tiger uh, because, of bitch. course, she did. <laughs> I love how Drew has wished death upon more people. Drew has just <laughs> completely dismissed it. Just like, oh, he was personally offended. I just she think, no, she's Eye of the Tiger. She's. She is just the worst kind of American these days. Like, motherfucker that wants to profit off a cause, but not actually do anything about it. Like, oh, God damn it. At least Joe is Exotic was letting people get eaten. You know? God, like, the, 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 the animals stood a chance there. We got comments we got to get through here because I'm dying reading some of these. Biscuit said that OJ should do the WAP because it's kind of like a stabbing motion. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Barr, uh, host of For the Gold podcast. Uh, he said that Carol Baskin should have danced to What's New Pussycat. Uh, <laughs> Loudbeard saying, shut up, sassy. And John saying, please tell me she danced to a Joe Exotic song. I talked to uh, Tigers. <laughs> oh, that'd be fantastic. If she had come out and danced to a Joe Exotic song, I would have. that would have been the greatest thing I've ever seen on TV. That would have been the best troll job ever. Uh, this you know, is- we, should, we should do a GoFundMe and buy, buy a Joe Exotic <laughs> album. He deserves uh, it. I don't think you have to do a GoFundMe for that. I'm pretty sure it's like 35 cents. 
to get the whole oh. album. I bet you. I bet you it's dirt cheap. I'm just sitting here knowing the wives would not send off on that 20 spot. Like, <laughs> no, mm-mm. don't do that. <laughs> Joe Exotic. Uh, all right. Uh, whoa, whoa. Javi coming in hot saying he's been to that Tiger Zoo. Holy Javi, shit. Uh, the, uh, the other host of Fort the Gold podcast, has been hey. to the Joe Exotic Zoo that is now can closed we, down. Can we spin up that, that drunk line real quick? Like, we need to hear about this. Oh, I don't. I wish I could. I wish I could, man. Javi, I'm going to need to talk to you uh, offline here. Could, wait, did a photo shoot? See, now this feels like a this feels like a pose on velvet with a tiger situation, Javi. So like, what up? Like, like, what was the end goal of said photo shoot? Was this for your Tinder profile or like, you know, uh, man, I wish I could call during the show. Ugh, that'd be amazing to just dial him up right now because I could call I mean, just, right now. Just call him on your phone and put it on speaker. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the janky style. We're, this is a professional broadcast, Drew. We we got networks interested in us. We can't be. That's fair. I'm just saying. I've heard that trash on the on the morning show, Jeff and Jen, and like they pull that off. <laughs> Uh, all right, 100 comments. That means I'm going to do a shot. Uh, and this has been Mashup. I hope you guys like that segment. Let us know in the comments if you like that that's segment. It, that's all it takes to do shots? Fuck, I would comment. Yeah, well, you know, this is, it's, it's a new thing I just thought of when it just popped up. Congratulations on 100 comments. So I'm going to do a Ooh, shot for 100 comments. Get that hip no. Look, at he ain't even pouring it in a shot. Oh, that was a pussy shot. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's well, Mike, of course. There you go. Uh, drink up. <sighs> mm. Besides, what do you have to be afraid Ooh. of? You've got that uh, morning recovery lemon morning recovery. ginger flavor now. Um, I didn't get the lemon ginger yet, bro. Oh, I didn't dude. get the lemon. Oh, I got one. If you want me to drop one off, uh, Matt saying love that segment. Good, thank you, Matt. Uh, we appreciate that. Matt, I, uh, that was a that went way better than I thought it was going to. I mean, that segment was solid. I thought it was pretty I good. I think we bring that one back like at some point. It was all because Sherm put in the work on the images, dude. I like, did. You found yeah, great shots. No, that, that was all credit to to Mike on that one. Those those mashups, God, I'm t- poor Rob. I, I mean, just <laughs> look at <laughs> like, poor Rob, man. Yeah. Oh, in, let's let's can do it. Can we let's tag do him, him in that segment? Oh yeah, I want to. I just want that portion. I want to cut <laughs> that portion and. Tag Rob, Rob Riggle on Twitter minding, for that. Just minding his own business. Yeah. And Catching like, some Damn, strays. Damn, somebody compared me to, to Ed Ogeron and a catcher's mitt? Damn. No, I didn't compare him to Ed Ogeron. Just, just him and a catcher's mitt. Him and a catcher's oh, mitt. Uh, still, man. Just be like, hey, at Rob Riggle, sorry about this, bro, but you know it's true. And John, uh, John asking if we would accept mashups from Craft Root Sports Hell listeners. Yes, Absolutely. That's the best part so of hit I us up. On, yeah, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, post it in the group. If you've got some mashup ideas, throw them in there because we will absolutely do it on the show. Uh, it, it's super. I really enjoyed this one. Also, peek behind the curtain. When I did the uh, the Hillary Clinton and Deborah from uh, Teen Mom, when I sent that one to our group chat, Scott. His response was, delete my number. I'm never going to be able to fucking yeah, see unsee, unsee that. 